On social media, people share and show off everything in their lives constantly. The chocolate fondue they're eating, how good their bikini looks, who they're with, the party they're at. So, we challenge all of you to do something a little different. To share the most vulnerable thing on social media that you possibly could. Your biggest insecurity. And you guys accept it. My name is Majo from Argentina. Romania. Budapest. Hungary. Seattle. New Zealand. Germany. Finland. El Salvador. Um, I, I, I struggle with this. Um, a lot of stuff that's been weighing on my mind. Been contemplating whether or whether not to do it. And I hate talking about it. It's really hard for me to post that. I will totally regret it, but here we go. <laughs> my biggest insecurity. Biggest insecurity. Biggest insecurity. Biggest insecurity. Oh, my How others view me. Letting people into my personal life. A lot of potential and nothing to show for it. I overthink nearly everything. What um, others think about me? A fear of failure. I'm very introverted. Uh, you know what? My biggest insecurity is my masculinity. <laughs> I'm not particularly muscular, I'm a very scrawny kid. Girls don't look at me the same because I'm not a sporty kid, you know. I can't try and flirt around the fact that I play badminton. My insecurity. Sometimes I feel like I'm not enough. My struggle with Lyme and chronic illness really made my confidence take a hit. My biggest insecurity is my anxiety. And that resulted in constant verbal bullying from the classes of collective. There were times when I was physically ill, looking into a mirror. Uh, my dad died about a year and a half ago from cancer, and unfortunately I was the one that found him, um, which has just, yeah, been really hard to get over. Being in the work environment just isn't where I need to be right now. Just to make myself feel better about it, I've just tried, you know, doing boxing, which I suck at. But that way, you know, it's more masculating and I can say it. <laughs> uh, For a while, I believed that I was less deserving because I was sick. That I was less deserving because I was different. I would question every single decision I've made. Whenever I got close to making a friend or, you know, just started talking to someone, I would be so insecure about my anxiety that I would try to hide it. And I am unemployed. <laughs> I am unemployed because I took time to take care of my mental health. Because of the Asteri family, I actually um, just got back from traveling Southeast Asia and Europe with my brother um, to kind of challenge those insecurities and really take myself out of my comfort zone. So, thank you. And I challenge everyone else to who watches this to say their insecurities because we all have them and I think the more we admit to having them, the less embarrassed we are about them. So yeah, that's my biggest insecurity and I'm just really glad that I could open up, say to everyone here on the Yes Theory fam, just want to thank everyone for letting me do this and I hope you'll have an awesome day. And what really helped me with that insecurity was surrounding myself with people that loved me and that saw me just for me. Taking my biggest insecurity and trying to frame it and look at it as my, you know, my biggest strength and part of my story. Thank you so much for your bravery, for all the people that shared their insecurities before me and all the people that are going to share their insecurities after me. This is a really beautiful challenge. Uh, you guys are doing an amazing job of lifting each other up past the mountains and being super validating as we are vulnerable and share our insecurities. Whatever that is you're insecure about, it's part of you. And if someone was to mind that, if someone was to think about you differently, or treat you differently, or change their minds about anything because of that insecurity, or in my case, anxiety, maybe I don't want them to be my friend. So I think whatever is that you're insecure about, you come as a package. And if someone can accept that, they don't deserve to be friends with you because you're amazing the way you are. Now I see that I'm not alone and I'm not the only one with insecurities. I deserve more, I deserve better. I deserve to live my life to the fullest because nothing can stop that. And if it does, I'm not going to let it. So I guess <laughs> my biggest insecurity is my anxiety, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. 
popping this out is very powerful. Just love yourself for who you are because that's all that matters. Don't listen to other people's opinions, just focus on yourself and every single day just make sure that you are happy with your life. And I just love you all so much. You're an amazing bunch of people.